a baffling missing persons case. A devoted mother of two dubbed a super mom out for a jog only to vanish. Police searches yielding no results for weeks until finally on Thanksgiving Day she is found. But the investigation is far from over as the mystery only deepens. Here's ABC's Kana Wentworth. Tonight in Northern California, the mystery continues to swirl around Sherry Papini, the wife and mother of two found Thursday morning after she had been missing for more than three weeks. HP is advising she is uh, heavily battered and it is confirmed The hunt is still on for the captors. 34-year-old Papini describing two Hispanic women telling authorities they were armed with a handgun and driving a dark-colored SUV. She could have been assaulted, um, hit by her abductors. The Shasta County Sheriff's Office is leading the investigation and delving into her past. Do you believe Mrs. Papini's story? Absolutely. Tonight, we're learning authorities will interview Papini again to see if she can offer them any more clues to help them close the case. We do want her to feel at ease in being able to provide us with additional information. The whole idea is to keep her as uh, less traumatized and as comfortable as possible because this is not an interrogation. This is really sort of a therapeutic interview to get to a lot of details that could potentially help them solve this case. It was dark just like this when Sherry Papini told authorities her captors just dropped her off right there behind me 150 miles from her home on Thanksgiving Day. Authorities say she was bound with restraints but was able to flag down a passing driver. Other drivers were calling 911. I saw a woman come out of nowhere, frantically waving what looked like a shirt up and down. Allison Sutton was driving down this dark Yolo County road when she says she passed Papini and called 911. She pretty much just came out of nowhere. It startled me, but I figured, you know, if somebody was desperate enough for help, that they were willing to be so close to traffic that they might get hit, that they really needed help. At the time, Sutton didn't know who the woman was. I do feel like I got to be a witness to a small miracle. Papini was treated and released from a local hospital where she was reunited with her husband, Keith. It's unknown if she's seen her children yet. Authorities say when they first interviewed her, Papini was terrified and offered few details about her captors. Two women apparently dropped her off, but it's unclear what their role might be. Papini, who's been described by her family as Supermom, vanished on November 2nd after going out for a run. Her husband, Keith, called 911 when he came home from work to an empty house. I'm coming, honey. I'm trying. I'm doing everything I can. And uh, I love you. Pleading for his wife's safe return. Bring her home. Bring her home. Just bring her home. Keith instantly began his desperate search. Using the Find My iPhone app, he located Sherry's cell phone on the side of the road. Strands of her hair tangled in her earbuds. Keith passing a polygraph test, ruling him out early as a suspect. Oh, it wasn't a feeling like a relief for me. I just want my wife back. Technically missing. Authorities examining all angles, including if Papini had left on her own. Some asking, could this be playing out like a scene from the movie Gone Girl? To fake a convincing murder, you have to have discipline. Her family offered a $50,000 reward for any information. Investigators are analyzing Papini's restraints and clothing for DNA evidence and sifting through surveillance data, including camera footage and cell phone records. The Shasta County Sheriff's Office is looking into Papini's past, her former marriage and divorce and her online activity. Have you spoken with her ex-husband? Uh, I have not, but my investigators have. And what have they learned from him? Uh, since it's an ongoing investigation, I can't, can't share that information. This alleged abduction comes after two prominent cases of women who were found dead this summer while out running alone. 27-year-old Vanessa Marcotte in Princeton, Massachusetts, and just a week prior, Karina Vetrano of Queens, New York. If you're a woman, you just cannot go run alone. You really need to run in pairs or more than two. It could all be women, but you need to run in a group. After three weeks missing, it's unknown when Papini will get back to her normal life. It takes a long time 
typically for people who've been traumatized to this extent, and it's not going to happen overnight. For Nightline, I'm Kana Whitworth in Redding, California.